this is Robin Rapsis, Copper Core Live Drumming DJ. In this video, I'm going to go over part of my live track setup and how I mute tracks while improvising my parts. To execute a system that mutes my tracks by hitting pads, I had to write the music to fit within that system. I begin my projects with a template, having six tracks labeled bass, percussion, pad, rhythm, melody one, and melody two. This keeps each track somewhat separated in the frequency spectrum. With this consistency, my creative ideas flow much easier while I'm improvising because my instrument never changes. Just like always having the snare drum between your legs or middle C in the same place. On top of all of that, this limitation can spark creativity within my composition. If you're soloing without any structure of tempo, time signature, or chord changes, you could play almost anything and it would be difficult to sound cohesive. But if you have some sort of structure to follow, you can be creative within that structure. Writing with these six tracks in their respective frequency spectrum gives me a structure to be creative within. So this is how I map out the pads with their respective MIDI notes. I chose these notes from the default view of Ableton's drum rack for sound triggering uses. Instead of just toggling the mute button of a track with a pad, I assign muting to a MIDI note on a clip. I make six new MIDI tracks, each with a one measure clip. I have to put them all in separate tracks or I can't mute multiple tracks in the same measure. When performing, this allows me to have strong downbeats when instruments come in, and it gives me a full measure to make my drum part or fill connect with the addition of that voice. In order to have my triggers activate on the next downbeat of a measure, I go to Preferences under Launch and set my default launch quantization to Global. Then in the top left corner, I set my global quantization to one bar. In the clips, I choose some MIDI notes out of the range of my pads for triggering the mute buttons. I chose C0 through F0. Ableton has an amazing feature called MIDI Map Mode. You can assign MIDI notes to do almost any function in Ableton. First, the clips have to mute the correct tracks. Just click the function, in this case, Mute, then press the MIDI note you would like to assign. Now, the clips have to be triggered by the correct pad. I have to make sure my new clips are not looped or they will continue to mute and unmute my tracks. You also need a virtual MIDI port for the MIDI to communicate with itself. The IAC driver is the native virtual MIDI port on a Mac. If you have a PC, you need to download a virtual MIDI driver like Loop 1BE, MIDI Yoke, or RTP Loop MIDI. I have links in this video's description to help you set up your virtual MIDI port on the Mac or PC. So make sure the MIDI 2 is set to your virtual MIDI port, in my case, IAC driver. Also, make sure you set it to the correct channel that you mapped your MIDI notes to, my case, channel 2. Now I'll put in some audio clips from one of my songs so you can hear the muting in action. I'll also set my tempo and loop my clips. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, join, like, and follow.